Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, and in this, the fifth video in the series on standing waves and beaks, I'm going to look at an NCA problem. So, uh, this one's from the 2020 year, and it's question one about a kawowo, which is a Maori flute. So they give us that the speed of sound in the air is 3.4 by 10 to the 2, that's 340 metres a second. Um, the reason they write it like that is so that they're clearly showing that they are giving you a number to three significant figures. So if they gave you 340, that you weren't sure if that had been rounded from 339 or not. But 3.40 is exact to, to those three significant figures. All right. Um, the instrument can be modelled by an open pipe of length 0.155 metres. Okay. So on one occasion, Manu covers all the holes, plays a note, has the following displacement standing pattern, a wave pattern for one of its harmonics. So which harmonic is shown in the diagram Above. So with an open pipe we have antinodes at each ends, um, and you can clearly see it there, and because um, I don't want to get this wrong, what I'll do is I'll just, just on the side of my page here, draw all of um, the standing waves in order to make sure I get the right one. So the, the first one, where we have an antinode at one end and an antinode at the other end, that looks like it is half a wave, um, and that's the first standing wave. The next one you can fit a whole wave in there, that's the second standing wave. This one here, in our actual question, looks like it's one whole wave, two whole waves, okay? But this one on my diagram, I've got starting at the top, ending at the bottom, that's one and a half, and so I've actually got uh, the fourth harmonic here. Um, calculate the frequency of the standing wave. Whenever I do these, I always write down how many full wavelengths there are. So in this case, there's two full wavelengths in this length of 0.155 meters. So I write that down, and that's my first step in all my calculations. So in this case, I can work out the actual wavelength, so it's going to be half that, and that makes sense because half the flute is one wave. Um, then I can just use my wave equation, velocity equals frequency times lambda, to rearrange and find frequency. So they give me the velocity, remember, is 340. Uh, divided by that number and we get um, 4,390 and that is uh, to three significant figures. Alright, part C. Opening and closing holes in the kawawo can produce different notes. Manu opens the last hole and plays a note. Explain how the frequency of the fundamental note play with the hole open compares. So when you open the hole what you're doing is you're effectively saying, hey, now I've got a new pipe that's shorter. Okay? I've got one end open where the air where the um, air's blowing in, and now this is my second um, end. And so what that does is it just reduces the effective length that I'm going to form a standing wave in. Because you've got a smaller um, length, that means the wave that you can standing waves you can fit in there, the wavelengths will be decreased. Now in the case of a standing wave, we can only fit half a wavelength in. Alright? Um, but that half the wavelength is going to be L, and that L has got smaller. So when you rearrange that, um, the wavelength is smaller as well. Same as before, um, we've got this wave equation to work out the frequency. In both cases, the speed of sound does not change. Therefore, decreasing that wavelength is going to increase the frequency or make it a higher pitched sound. And last, they just want to know how are standing waves formed in the Kawawo um, in, in, in open pipes. So the way standing waves are formed specifically in open pipes is um, we start, we have to make a sound. And to do that, we blow across the end of the pipe and it causes vibrations, sound vibrations. And when we do that, there's lots of different frequencies, a range of different frequencies that come out. Um, so they are the sound waves, they travel down the pipe. And when they get to the end, and the end is, is um, the, the official word for it in, in physics is a boundary, with the open ear. There's a, some of those waves are reflected. Not all of them, but some of them. Now that's hard for some people to get their head around. How, how, why would it reflect it at the point where it just opens up? And it is a boundary, and waves reflect at boundaries. Um, that's all you need to know at this level. So some of those waves go back down the pipe again. Now this is important for an open pipe, is that um, the reflected waves don't change phase. So they, they have the same phase when they're coming back the other way. Now the reflective waves can then interfere with the original waves traveling in the other direction. So now we have um, traveling waves traveling in both directions, they interfere. When we have interference, um, we can get um, 
constructive interference and destructive interference and it only happens nicely when we have the waves that have the right wavelength or the right frequency that fits the pipe in such a way that the reflective waves um, and the, the original waves produce the standing wave. So only certain waves fit. So not all of the frequencies that are made um, go on to make standing waves. So the standing wave is where there's some spots, now this is at both ends especially, um, where the waves constructively interfere. So the, the two traveling waves that are going in opposite directions, they constructively interfere um, to produce that antinode where there's a lot of displacement, a lot of vibration. There's other spots where the waves have destructively interfered um, and cancelled out completely and that produces a node. Now that is a lot um, for how a standing wave is produced, but I didn't want to miss any part of it out. Um, so it's it's certainly I would if it was me answering this question in the exam I'd make sure I had you know that this is the whole story it's going through one bit at a time because I wasn't sure what the examiner is specifically after so I've just made sure I've put everything down um, in this question so hopefully that's helpful to you.